Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to InfoSyntax. Today we'll learn about how can you retrieve the data from MongoDB. This is one part of our CRUD operation that is read operation. How can you read or retrieve data from database? Find method in MongoDB query is used to fetch particular document from the MongoDB collection. There are some methods available in MongoDB by which we can fetch particular record. Now we will understand find method. The find method is used to perform a query on document in a collection and returns a cursor to selected document. That means you have the database. When you are try to retrieve the data from database by using find method. So that data will return to our cursor. So this cursor we will discuss in our next session and it will select the document based on the condition. Now syntax of find method db dot collection that means collection name then after find method and find method is expecting three parameters the first is query then after projection and last one is option all these parameters are optional now we will understand each parameters in find method the first parameter is query it is optional parameter it specify the filter using query operation or return all document in collection then no need to pass any argument or pass an empty document like this projection it is optional it specify the field to include in resulted document to return all the field in document then no need to pass any argument document it is optional parameter it is additional options for query these options modify the query behavior and how results are written this parameter we will use in our mongodb cell to get the data from database now we will understand find method with query parameter we can specify the criteria as field value like this document we will prepare on which we want to find document let's see these examples in our mongodb cell i have already created employee collections in my database so just i will retrieve data from employees collection so i will use the find method to get all this data from employees collection you can see last it is getting one message type it for more that means if I type it, then it will print rest of the document. Now see, once all these records are fetched from database, then after it will not ask for type IT for more because complete data is written to our cell. We can see each document have employees details like first name, last name, mobile number, hire date, salary, commission, meritorial status and department. If you are not passing any parameters in find method, then it will return all the results. Now we will see if you pass empty document into our find method, then what will happen? You can see this is also written all the document from the collection. I want to see the employee who is getting salary is 2100 rupees. So for that case, I will use the find method only. But here I will pass query parameter. So we got the result. You can verify the salary. The salary is 2100 rupees. Other employee are not getting the salary so due to that reason it is not fetching other details because we have passed the condition salary is 2100 rupees i want to see the employee list who are getting more than 3000 salary same i will use the find method and condition i will use the field name then after i will start the curly process here i will use the operator greater than hyphen 3000 after hit the enter button it return the result and most of our employee are getting more than 3000 rupees you can verify this salary those salary are more than 3000 rupees i want to see those employee are not getting any commission from our company for this case we will use commission is null and that details we will pass as a query parameter into our find method then we will hit the enter button then we can see the commission details are coming right now null it has more records so it is asking to type it for more iteration of the result now we will see the employee list those employee are getting the salary between 3000 and 6000 for this case we will use greater than 3000 and we will use less than 6000 so for that lt 6000 now we can see these are the employee are getting salary between 3000 to 6000 so these parameters will cover on our upcoming video operator 
Now we will move to our next slide to understand Pretty method in MongoDB. This method is used to configure the cursor to display result in an easy to read attractive format. Just we will use this method after the find method. Now we will understand the projection. Use the projection parameter to specify the fields to be included in the result. The syntax is uh, db.collection or collection name to find. Then after first parameter we will pass the blank and the second parameter we will pass the field name and the value will be boolean type. The projection parameter format field then after value will be 1 or true and it can contains as per your requirement where, where 1 or true include the field and zero or false exclude the field in the result. Now we will understand in our next slide more details about the projection. So here we can see the data which is present in our database. These data like ID, first name, last name, email, age, date of joining, salary, address of the employee are present in our database. As per our requirement, we need to get only first name and last name as a result from the database. So for that case, we will use the projection to get only two details from our collection. And our application is expecting these two columns records, but the data will not impact to our database collections data. That means it will only take the first name and last name from the collection. It will return to our application. So for this case, we will use the projection and we will pass which column field you require or not in that parameter. Now we will understand the projection in our MongoDB cell. The first parameter we will pass the empty one. Then second parameter we will pass the field name then after true or false and to see only first name and last name of the employee from the employee collection. So for that case I will use first name then after one and next last name is one. And this document I will pass in projection parameter in find method. Once I hit the enter button I will get only the first name and last name. But here we are getting the default ID is written in our result because projection will not automatically disable this ID on the result. If you want to disable this ID, then we need to pass the parameter manually in projection. So for this case, I will use the same method, but here I will pass underscore ID, then after I will pass zero. That means it will disable the ID columns data in our document. You can see now ID columns data is not coming in our result. Only it is displaying the first name and the last name of the employee. So I think we understood the projection in MongoDB. Find one with query parameter. MongoDB also provides the find one method to get the data from database. It returns one document that satisfied the, the specified query criteria on the collection or view. If multiple documents satisfied the query, this method will return the first document according to natural order which reflects the order of document on the disk. We can use this type of example in our cell. Like we will use without any parameters so then it will return only one document from the collection and it will pick the first document as per the order which reflects in order of document on the disk. Then second one we have passed query parameter which is a salary those people are getting 6500 rupees as a salary. And the third one example we are using the greater than operator those employees are getting more than 60,000 salary from satisfied the query. Now we will understand the find one method in our MongoDB cell. If I use the find one method, then it is retrieving only one employee's record. I can use this method with query parameter. Now we will see this example. The first name is John. We will, we will pass the query parameter into find one method to get the employee list whose name is John. Once I hit the enter button, then it got the results. You can see the first name. Now you will see the employee list those employees are getting more than 6000 salary and we will use find one method let's see what result is coming right now you can see only got the record only one record because we are using find one method and we can verify the salary it's 13000 that means more than 6000 rupees so we have understand all these methods in read operation how can you get data from structured data in mongodb structured data means array or object. Let's see this example. The data is already available in my employee collection. Look at this. 
data this document have nested document we can also see this employee it has arrays of data so for this case how can you retrieve the data earlier we have checked based on the condition and that field are present in our parent document only let's see this example now we'll fetch the data whose name is vikas but i want to know the employee details whose house number is 69 or i want to know the employee which belongs to state odisha so for that case how can you retrieve data by our statement simply i will write find method then after i want to pass state is odisha i will type the address which is nested document key then i will type mind the requirement of that property name here the state now i will pass odisha but i got the error unexpected token so what we will do for this case just we will use a single code for the field name once i hit the enter button i got the record actually only one employee is belongs to odisha so i got only one record from the collection similarly we will use nested document like address dot address details dot house number then i will pass the house number then we will get the result let's see this on our screen just i have explained now only just we will use dot symbol for that nested document once i hit the enter button then we will get the same result only vikas is belongs to house number 69 so we got only one record now we will discuss how can you use the condition or array of data like i want to know those employee know oracle database for this case just simply i will write the skills then colon i will pass the oracle once i hit the enter button then i got the result from the collection here only tamlil know oracle from our employee list so i got only one result in our next video we will discuss about update operation in mongodb we will meet on another video thank you Please subscribe YouTube channel Info Syntax and for more details you can visit www.infosyntax.com. Bye.